fiber networks. The word seems to be thrown around everywhere, especially now. Because of the high-speed internet trend, fiber networks have become the most reliable form of data transportation. But what makes these fiber networks so special? Why are they a better alternative to copper wire-based electrical networks? The traditional electrical network consists of two or more interconnected electrical elements or components such as resistors, capacitors, coils, or generators. Using the setup, data is sent through bursts of electrical currents between the supplier, also known as the internet service provider, and the receiver. These bursts are read as on and off signals and work well with the computer's language of binary. Binary, for those of you who don't know, is a base 2 system in which the largest single digit is 1. This makes for a number range of 1 and 0. The computer on the receiving end then converts strings of 1s and zeros into other more complex languages binary such as ASCII dance. and Unicode binary and completes dance. commands. Binary dance. Binary dance. Binary dance. Binary dance. Electrical cables require a medium for transportation. Copper wire is used to transfer information and poses a few issues. It has a high resistance and requires to be grounded. This resistance causes issues when transporting data over long distances, deteriorating the strength of the electrical signal over time. It is necessary for longer cables to have repeaters or amplifiers to strengthen the signal again. Impurities and improper grounding of these electrical cables can cause major malfunctions with physical data and cables in cases of power surges or lightning storms. Which is why optical cables are superior in providing longer, undisrupted signals without the use of any repeaters. Because optical cables have no electricity running through them, there is no need to ground these wires. Not to mention, optical cables travel at the speed of light, leaving copper wire cables lagging behind. Electrical networks work in a way that allow magnetic fields induced by the conductor to radiate the exact same information that is within the cable outwards. This makes electrical networks easily susceptible to issues regarding safety of information as there is a potential of info being intercepted at any point along the travel distance. This could be in a remote location or even outside your home. What makes this possibility even worse is that electrical networks lower in signal strength over large distances, thus resulting in slower speeds. This makes what is known as packet loss even worse. Packet loss is a term describing the rejection of processing information that is not received in the same order in which it was sent in. Data is sent in a different order to maximize efficiency. Your device will chunk down information and organize it from smallest file size to the largest. This is then sent to your internet service provider where the chunk of info waits for the rest of the chunks. It is then reorganized into the correct order, processed, and returned. When multiple devices are accessing a network, in places such as schools, if the servers on the other end is overloaded with information or cannot organize it appropriately, the info stays in its unrecognizable order and is tossed away. Your device is then required to resend information and the delay between sending and receiving the info increases. This is not the case with fiber optic networks, simply due to the sheer speed of the network. Because info in fiber optic networks travel at the speed of light, your internet service provider has more time to organize and process information. This is because the size of the information does not increase. Even if packet loss occurs, it is less prevalent due to the smaller span of time it takes for info to be resent is also reduced. So that favorite song of yours can keep on playing. <laughs> And so we see all the issues of electrical networks that can be solved by the implementation of fiber networks. But how exactly do they achieve this? Well, fiber optic networks use bursts of concentrated beams of light to communicate in phone binary. While you would expect that these networks require the use of straight cables, this is false. The cables use an ultra-pure type of glass that allows them to have a very low critical angle, which allows light to refract inside the cable. Otherwise known as total internal reflection, the constant critical angle is possible because inside a cylindrical structure, such as a cable, opposing sides are constantly parallel. 
This makes fiber optic cables extremely versatile and capable of suiting any needs or circumstances. Clearly, fiber optics has a distinct advantage over the conventional electrical copper cable network, whether it be in security, speed, and plainly in getting the job done.